You might want to rethink booking that Airbnb after seeing this scary video posted to the r slash ghosts subreddit by Lemonisa. The redditor writes that spooky sounds during the first night in this rental home in Norway kept waking her and her partner. This prompted her to start recording. This is what she captured. In an upper slanted window facing the living room, a mysterious white anomaly appears. After a moment, the anomaly slowly fades away before completely vanishing. It's not clear if the figure is beyond the window looking in, or something inside the house is being reflected. Some in the comments think it looks extraterrestrial. Others say it looks like a face or hand pressed against the glass. The Redditor mentions in the comments that this house was haunted. She says that they'd be sitting in the living room and would hear random things fall from the counter and strange noises from the basement. She notes that this first night in the home was especially creepy. Would you have the courage to remain a second night in the house if you saw this in the window? I sure wouldn't. This video could very well be proof that the humanoid kingdom extends into the insect world. At first glance, this video appears to be a firefly or some similar sort of bug, but when slowed down frame by frame, you can clearly see that this is not a bug at all, but rather appears to be a tiny winged humanoid. The video shows an insect-like humanoid with clearly discernible arms and legs. Unlike most bugs, this humanoid only has four limbs, and the arms appear to be twice as short as the legs, much like a person. There's simply no insect on Earth like it. It's just too bad the lighting conditions don't provide more detail, because it would have been interesting to see more of its face and overall color patterns. Exactly where this video was shot is not known. Webdriver Torso is one of the few YouTube channels that continues to stay creepy even after being supposedly debunked. A number of years ago, this channel was discovered uploading videos that were all rectangles and frequencies. The videos are somewhat mesmerizing to watch and many people claim they will lure you into a strange state of mind over time. Google has since come forth with an official explanation that this channel is used only to test video quality. But this is a really vague explanation and plenty of people are convinced that this is a cover-up story for something more sinister. Meanwhile, the videos have only gotten longer and are now up to 25 minutes and 1 second in length. Also one day in 2013, WebDriver Torso uploaded this strange video seemingly for no reason at all, further adding to the mystery. As to exactly what this means, your guess is as good as mine. This channel could be anything from a video quality testing site like Google says, to a mind control experiment or even an AI program gone rogue. Also, if you can explain this channel's rather cryptic name to me, I'd definitely like to hear your best guess, though I really doubt anyone can. These explorers are checking out a haunted church in Britain called St. Botuf's Church, which is said to be guarded by the spirit of a passed away monk. The weather is fine at first, but within a minute of stepping out of the car, it becomes cloudy and grey, as if to signify they do not belong here. Here at 2 minutes and 34 seconds, you can see everyone standing outside as they peruse the cemetery, and it isn't until 2 minutes and 47 seconds that they go inside. With this in mind, tell me how they record this shadow figure. Walk across the church at 2 minutes and 22 seconds, a full 20 seconds before any of the Mentor. This strange and scary reflection looks like someone is staring straight into the window of a YouTuber named Hatchet TV. It's dark outside and there's absolutely no light, so exactly how this reflection is able to appear in the first place is a mystery. Look up close and you can make out an oversized and misshapen head with a large nose and ghoulish frown. I see it right there. That's crazy. Turn on the light. At first I thought this video was obviously fake because he was recording his own reflection, but when Hatchet TV turns on the lights and steps back, the face is still there. 
I have no other explanation besides the paranormal. Kalen Speaks published this video in 2013. In the description, he writes, So I wanted to drop a skit, but something paranormal happened in my house last week, and I'm not talking about a little shadow. In the morning, when my family was either out or sleeping, a garbage bin in one of the rooms of my house got thrown out at my dog, and we caught it on camera. This is completely real. Kaylin says this isn't a prank. So let's take a look at what happened. She'd have to be behind it and hit her with her nose or her, her paws if she, she could somehow. But she's not. She's right beside it. And look, she's running. She's hauling out of the office. She's scared. Something. Kaylin shows the security footage of the downstairs hallway. He says no one was on this first floor at the time. In the clip, the dog runs in sliding under a hallway table, while a small garbage bin with garbage in it slides in alongside her. Then the dog darts into another room. Kaylin thought initially that the dog had just been greedily eating from the trash, and then suddenly got spooked by something and darted off, knocking the trash bin over and taking it with her for a short distance. Then he explains why he thought differently after reanalyzing the video. He says in order for the bin to be launched that far with such force, the dog would have had to hit it, and in order to hit it, she would have to be behind it. But she was running beside it at the beginning of the clip. The bin is also rolling for an inordinate amount of time. After hitting the wall for one or two minutes, according to Kaylin, while the dog watches it in fright from the hallway, at some points the roll of the bin slows and then it speeds up again. Is there a poltergeist controlling the trash bin? We can only guess. You know when you're nonchalantly taking video, panning across the room, and this happens? This short clip posted to YouTube by Baku DD is not meant to be a jump scare, but it'll have you jumping scared anyway. As the woman films her apartment with a blurry camera, she pans around to a hallway that appears to be filled with sunlight, perhaps by a window backlighting the area. And there stands a tall, looming figure that apparently shouldn't be there at all, judging by the woman's frightened reaction. The woman shrieks, and the shot moves sideways as she jumps in fright. When she pans back to the hallway, the figure is gone. This is either a fantastic fake or the real deal. Whether you think it's legit or not, it's probably something you wouldn't want to witness in the flesh. A strange creature sighting was caught on camera, moving fast along the Powell River in BC, Canada. The unknown creature was seen by many, but only one witness, a man named Oscar, was fast enough to have captured video evidence of one of the scariest moments of his life. He fully admits what he saw on the lake haunts him to this day. He saw it coming from half a mile away, a mysterious figure moving fast underwater. He says by the time he ran into his RV camper for a camera and came back, it was already moving past him, so he only caught but a few mysterious and unexplained moments on video. On one hand, this does look like something strange and mysterious slithering just beneath the water's surface, like a gigantic sea snake. On the other hand, this video looks like something getting pulled by a boat, a tow line perhaps. The fact that you only see the last 17 seconds is kind of suspicious, but would make sense if he had to run and get a camera. It all depends on how much you believe him. Oscar goes on to explain that this lake is 1,200 feet deep in some areas and was once connected to vast, ancient glaciers where deep sea channels could have once led to mysterious and unknown creatures. Perhaps this unexplained video is one of these deep sea creatures coming up for a visit. It sounds like an interesting legend, but I think I would need more video evidence than this to fully believe it. And trust me, if I find more videos about the monster of Powell Lake, I will be sure to analyze them. In the meantime, tell me what you think of his bizarre sighting, especially if you have any idea what this unexplained video could be. 
A postal worker is moving some mail around an office building and summons an elevator. There's an overhead light in the third camera that flickers from the very beginning of the video onwards, which may or may not be an indication of something paranormal. Notice how this electrical disturbance briefly spreads to the elevator as soon as the doors open. So far this could just be a technical malfunction, but that doesn't explain what happens next. Watch as the papers start fluttering on their own despair there. Being no possible draft inside of the cramped space, I can't help but notice how the papers stop fluttering every time he looks over, only to resume again when he stops paying attention. It definitely looks paranormal to me. Again, the lights flicker on and off as soon as the doors open, almost as if a paranormal entity is getting on and off the elevator with him. He notices that the lights are flashing an awful lot down here, but he chooses to ignore it and keeps moving. A short while later, this phantom businessman partially emerges from a realm beyond our own. I have trouble believing this part is not computer generated effects, but that doesn't necessarily mean the whole video is fake. Maybe everything up to this part was real, and someone added in this final scare at the end, or worse still. Maybe I'm wrong and this ghost really was behind him. Upbeat Jason puts on a helmet cam and rides around the neighborhood with his friend on BMX bikes. The video is mostly a nice view of the countryside until he comes across some neighbors with aggressive dogs and no leash. Jason tries to get past them instead of taking another way around and suddenly finds himself flanked on both sides. Ah. There, go fast. A dog lunges straight at Jason, jaws snapping. I don't think they make any contact, but I can tell by the sound of their bark that they are ready to attack. Clearly, they would have protected their territory if Jason stuck around, which he does not. But just when he thinks he is a safe distance away, he hears barking behind him and the chase is on again. Eventually, an adult picks them up and quickly puts their bike in the back of their truck before anything else happens. I really hope the two friends never bike past that house again. This is the same house that made number two on my list about mysterious things caught on tape in Texas. In that video, I verified that somebody really did have their life taken while exploring the premises. Now, someone may have actual footage of their ghost. Whoa. You can see what appears to be a small hand beacon them from the window. I guess they could have had a third person climb to the second floor to make this video as a prank. Can someone who has been brave enough to go inside of the house tell me if it's possible to get up to the second floor? If you can't get access to the second floor, then this video is probably real. Either way, many people claim to have seen the ghosts of small children in doorways and windows of the abandoned property. So even if this video is fake, then the house is almost definitely still haunted. Everyone knows seedy stuff happens under bridges, and YouTuber Last Leaf Studio found evidence of this in July of 2016, posting a video entitled, Some Creature Creeps Under the Pedestrian Bridge in Kiev. The footage shows traffic passing by on a highway in Ukraine's capital, as the cameraman is posted alongside a pedestrian walkway. Scanning the scene, the camera lands on the pedestrian bridge overhead. Look closely here. Beneath the bridge, you can see a large creature, apparently somehow holding onto the underside of this bridge, creeping across it bit by bit. You can even see its limbs move as it makes its way across. At first in darkness, the figure makes its way towards the light. A close-up of the creature reveals that this figure is distinctive. Its outline and limbs seem to be that of a human, or at least that of a humanoid creature. But what human can traverse the underbelly of a bridge like that, and why would they? The other option is that it's something with an immense amount of strength. What do you think it is? An abandoned mansion in Houston, Texas appears as the epicenter of paranormal activity in this clip, posted to YouTube by Hugo Blog in August of 2016. The shell of a mansion looks creepy enough on the outside, but then they enter. 
Wandering around the house in the darkness, at some point, the group captures on video what appears to be a ghostly young girl. They apparently didn't see her in real time. As they don't race from the house or cry out in fear, this image was only discovered after playing back the footage. Would you have the guts to enter here? Cross the threshold and find out. Something is terrorizing these poor pets. Originally posted to TikTok by El Otrolado21, a pair of pups are surprised by an unknown object being pulled or pushed across the ground. The security footage shows an item roll across the floor, seemingly on its own. Is it being dragged? Is it being rolled? By whom? One dog moves from his seat on the couch, while the other merely lifts his head as the object rolls before following his friend's lead. Is a human playing a trick on these animals? Or is it a phantom? Are apps the best method by which to gauge the paranormal around us? Published by QTube in August of 2021, these guys are freaking out after seeing something sitting in a chair in their home via an app filter. They note that another chair nearby looks completely normal, but when scanning the chair next to it with the filter, it's red hot with energy. And this chair isn't. Look, this one's fine, but you can go on this chair. Someone is sitting on this chair, guys. They're sure that someone is sitting in this chair. Is technology finally allowing us to engage with the invisible energies around us? Or is the filter just glitching? I think they should try using a thermal camera in this room. It might just reveal more than what we saw here. Scotty the NJ Medium is holding a ghost hunting expedition. When he thinks he hears a growling noise, he wants the ghost to reveal itself, and that's when things do not go as they'd expected. What's the name of the person growling? The door opens, but what happens next is a total surprise. The spirit box says who's knocking, followed by two taps at the door. Obviously, no one is standing on the other side because you'd be able to see them easily. <laughs> Yo, are you kidding? Scotty and his team admit they're not sure if the door was latched shut or not, but they say there's no wind. I'm pretty sure I can hear wind though, so I'll turn the sound up and you tell me what you think. A while back, we analyzed a scary video posted by this individual, and it seems like his house hasn't gotten any less haunted since then. If anything, the paranormal activity has moved on to his daughter. Let's try to make sense of this scary CCTV footage. Something rolls the ball at her. She rolls the ball back and it stops abruptly like somebody caught it. Please tell me it is a remote control ball because otherwise it looks like their child has attracted a paranormal pal. Or maybe, as unlikely as it sounds, she is manipulating the object somehow. I don't know what this is, but it's really bizarre and I can't stop thinking about it. A YouTuber named Charles M is checking out an old house for sale in Las Vegas that was supposedly owned by the Mafia. At one point during the tour, he comes across a fake wall in the kitchen and follows an old set of stairs down to a secret basement. The basement extends for a long time further and further underground, eventually opening up into a long white room that's completely bare, except for cabinets lining the far wall. Connected to this room are two other smaller rooms about the size of a closet. They each give him a bad feeling. The two smaller rooms are dark and soundproof, Strangest of all, the doors only have knobs on the outside. I don't know why the mob would have needed a soundproof room that nobody could escape from and I don't want to know. That's all he finds, hidden inside the ventilation shaft of one of the rooms, is what appears to be a single spent bullet casing. A person is recording at an old memorial site that is apparently haunted when something gets his attention. When they turn back around to record some more, they chance upon a girl dressed in modern clothes with long black hair covering her face and chest. Then she's gone. 
Something about this video seems natural and unplanned. I will admit that there is somewhat of a delayed reaction during the double take, but maybe whoever was recording could only see it on their screen and not in front of them. Or maybe this video is fake because the girl could have simply ducked out of sight. If the person recording had gone into the building and saw nothing, then I would be satisfied that this video is real. A girl named Jessie and her friend decide to try and summon spirits at a playground at 3 in the morning. The video starts off very lighthearted as Jessie plays on the monkey bars and her friend makes jokes, but soon things get much more serious. They've just barely started when they hear a strange noise and whip around. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. They shine their flashlights on the playground tubes, but don't see anything. The two friends sit back down and start again. It isn't long before they've made contact. Is there anyone here that would like to contact us? Are you doing that? No, are you? No. The spirit identifies itself only as D and refuses to say its real name at first, but then says that it is the infamous demon, Mama. Then it says that there are three of them, all watching. Now strange noises are happening all around them. So your name's not Mama. Oh my god! Didn't you hear that? No. Mama. Oh my god! Apparently. Their idea of summoning harmless children at a playground is turning out to be more serious than they thought. Mama starts to recite the alphabet backwards and then starts to count down the numbers, which Jesse's friend says is a way for the demon to get out of the board. Before they get a chance to move the pointer over goodbye, Sammy drops to the ground. This is what the camera records. <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> shut the f up. <laughs> Jesse just got possessed. Are you kidding? You were laughing like really weird and Are you serious? Yeah. Like I don't even remember like playing the Ouija board. She wakes up with no recollection of what happened. Hopefully, if this video is real, the demon left her alone after that, though we'll never know for sure. It could still be inside of her, waiting for the right moment to reveal itself again. A creepy figure was spotted at an old villa near a graveyard. Published by Scary and Mysterious Stuff in April of 2022, what would you do if you encountered this figure in the night? Walking past the graveyard, the cameraman enters the grounds of a villa that is said to have been abandoned two decades ago. After the sudden passings of three family members, villagers claim to hear sounds emanating from the place at night. Rumors of dark magic cast in the area also make these grounds forbidden. As he's exploring them anyway, he captures a shadow figure walking off. He walks after him but doesn't see anyone. Later, he hears crying. When he opens the door, he finds this holy terror. Can he escape it, or will this sound always be with him? I think this is the type of event that buries deep in the psyche. It's not fun in games anymore when something like this happens. Posted to the Very Spooky Video subreddit by Adam Gray 59 the redditor is wondering if this is poltergeist activity. In the video, some gamers are playing Call of Duty, and the gamer on screen appears to have gone for a bathroom or snack break. His chair is empty, or maybe it isn't. The chair starts swiveling quietly around. Of course, this unnerves the player on the opposite side of the screen. Is a ghost occupying this chair? Redditor TommyMCY in the comments says, It's a gamer ghost. While others are more skeptical, saying things like chairs simply do that on their own. So, gamer ghosts are just an off kilter chair. I'd like to think a ghost was at the controls. Stephanie Jenkins is filming her child at the bottom of some steps when suddenly she goes from smiling to startled. <laughs> Whoa. 
the child definitely looks like she saw something, but she takes a few steps into the next room and then quickly forgets about it. Some people have noticed what appears to be an orb float overhead, while some people think that this is a speck of dust or something similar. Others think it could be a long-lost relative paying their respects to the next generation of kin. Hardly anyone wants to see a clown at the best of times. Guaranteed, no one wants to see an uninvited clown on their doorstep. Published to YouTube in August of 2019, this creepy clown is everyone's unwelcome guest, residents of San Antonio, Texas. Likely double-check their locks after video of this creepy visitor was captured on ring surveillance footage. The clown was said to be loitering outside people's homes in the middle of the day saying trick or treat. Again, it was August at the time. The ring footage captures the man wearing a clown mask approaching a home around 1 p.m. The anonymous homeowner wasn't present at the time of the clown's visit. The security video was shared to neighborhood groups, sending a collective chill down everyone's spine. Resident Ernest Marquez sums up the fear saying, What his intentions were, I don't know. The uncertainty, the unknown is everyone's greatest fear. Hopefully this case was broken before it was too late. This creepy video is what happens when you go ghost hunting around Ireland's haunted woods of Newton Abbey. Kelly, did you hear the word Amber? I don't hear anything, but I do see a strange mist has been caught on camera. Paranormal, I'd say, because it doesn't look like their breath. It happens twice, here at 26 seconds and again at 28 seconds. I hear they have a lot of foggy weather in Ireland, so maybe this is a small patch of fog they've caught on camera instead of a ghost. But let's face it, they get creeped out in a scary part of the woods known to be haunted, stop to record, and then capture some strange sightings on tape. So maybe this is a paranormal ghost video. A YouTube channel called Exploring Mysterious India is at an abandoned house that was once occupied by five families. Since then, it's rumored to become so dangerously haunted that not even squatters will take their chances. The group worries about snakes in the leaves and thorny forest vines, but the real danger is already watching them from afar. While searching for an entrance, they find this rope tied in a perfect knot next to a water well that looks deep enough to easily hide a body. They find this discarded cross on the floor. Perhaps it was flung from the hands of someone who tried to cleanse this place long ago. A smeared red handprint on the wall gives the impression that no one stays here for long. Sometimes you don't have to catch a spirit on video to convince me that a location is haunted. Between the rope, the well, the handprint, and the cross, I think I have enough evidence to make up my mind on this one. This TikToker has documented her neighbor harassing her for months. The following clips are evidence of the terrifying stalking. Posted to TikTok by Maddie Panic, Maddie writes that she lives alone and she's reported this neighbor several times. In the first video, you can see her neighbor through her peephole, waiting outside her apartment door. The video shows a man wearing a hooded sweatshirt, getting very close to the door as though he's listening in. The man's mouth is moving, but what he's saying is inaudible. He quietly knocks on the door. After no one answers, the man backs up and waits there. Later, Maddie captures what we can assume is the same man trying her doorknob. You can see the knob shaking, but the door is locked. Maddie looks out the peephole again, and you can only see the top of the man's head, like he's down low, trying to hide from view, or maybe even trying to use tools to get in. You can vaguely hear him say he knows that she's here. Well, this video is scary enough. A second video turns our fear up a notch. The man apparently lives next door to Maddie, and he tried to smash a hole right through her wall. She captures the damage on video and reassures viewers that cops are on the way. Maddie turned this TikTok account into pure documentation of this stalker's behavior. Her latest video shows she is safe and now in a new apartment. Maddie's advice to other individuals who find themselves in a similar situation is to document every and protect themselves. This was true 
truly one creepy neighbor. While driving down a cemetery bypass road, a creepy figure was spotted in the darkness. Published by Asmani Tagat in April of 2022, dressed in white, this ghostly woman was captured on camera by the driver. As they approach the woman, she continues to just stand there. Only her long dark hair and white robe move slightly with the breeze. What is this woman doing? Is she warning them? Or should they steer clear? While out on his porch, this young man spots two green eyes peering back at him from the darkness. Published in June of 2020, Jimmy Reynolds lives near the edge of the woods, so it would be safe to assume that any number of woodland creatures are nearby. But what kind of creature is this? He approaches the eyes in the darkness, speaking out to it. What the See, there it is. Hey! Oh, what the f You'll see that. But as he gets closer, it apparently runs off. Jimmy thinks it could be a cat or a dog, but people in the comments are of the opinion that it's something much larger. Some say it's a skinwalker or a crawler. Others say it could be a forest ghoul. Cat Anonymous writes, It's probably stalking your house for food. Not sure if it eats humans. In any case, this dude better lock his doors. For a long time, this office webcam video in Lewiston, Idaho has caught weird things on camera between the hours of midnight to 2 a.m. Strange objects like orbs and other creepy stuff. One night, the webcam glitches out really bad and starts picking up odd specks of white light shortly before this mysterious figure is caught on camera with one arm raised. The apparition gets bigger as it presumably floats closer to the camera. The person who uploaded this says the building has a history of paranormal sightings. Maybe what we're seeing now is exactly what was haunting them. Freaky, right? In this house, you'll expect a jump scare around every corner. After experiencing paranormal events in his family home, this man decided to take some video to see if he could capture anything on camera. Let's take the haunted tour. What is happening here? He finds a flower on the stairs. He claims no one in the household knows where it came from. Is this knock a warning? As the YouTuber believes? Well, upstairs in the bedroom, it happens again. Something just threw the clothes from the wardrobe. If those knocks were a warning, I'd take the clothes as a clear message. This ghost wants you to leave. What are you afraid of? What can really make you scream? This entry was submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The user explains that the clip was found on TikTok. Footage shows a guy sleeping at 1.16 in the morning with the text. He snores so loud. According to the video, the next night is shown subsequently. This time, the man is sleeping in a very awkward position, with his arms up in the air. Even stranger, the drawer from the bedside table appears to open of its own accord. A short time later, the man is in a new position, and as he turns over, if you focus on the nightstand, a bottle slides strangely sideways, falling on the floor. The man appears to be suffering from some evil spirit being exercised, as his body contorts aggressively on the bed. I don't know if this guy's just being a hole. He wants to shut the Stop. Hey, what the f Whoever is taking the video leaves the room, and when he returns, the sleeping man is kneeling in the corner. 
What's going on here? It is suggested could just be night terrors. Others lean more towards the paranormal, however. They suggest the man is possessed. What do you think? Paranormal activity? Possession? It is certainly baffling, and I think we need more footage to fully solve this mystery. Yo, and you can see it's clearly the upper half of a young girl who is dressed in old-fashioned clothes from another time period. She is floating in midair as she curiously peeks in on the two children to see what they are doing. One of the girls still doesn't see the ghost. She shouts at something that's on television and accidentally startles the ghost away. The girl with the camera follows the ghost as it retreats. The the ghost instantly teleports and now stares at them from the top of the steps. The scared girls run out of the house screaming. They stop only for a second to turn around from the street. They can see the ghost girl walking across the left window on the top floor. It vanishes and then suddenly appears on the bottom floor in less than a second. They scream even louder and take off again. Emergency workers gather outside of a room where something terrible has happened and lives were possibly lost. As the camera zooms in, it catches a scary looking figure peering back at them. Its neck twisted so many times that it has become long and thin. The closer they zoom in, the more facial detail I see. Its face is half shrouded in darkness, but I can see the eyes, and it has tall black hair. Or maybe it's simply a crack in the wall. A ghost investigation video from Oregon, while admittedly grainy and out of focus, nonetheless captures two possibly paranormal instances that are worth analyzing. The first is a brief materialization of a shirt or tunic against the wall. From this floating clothing item, a phantom person emerges. Barely noticeable are the head, nose, and two eyes. Then again, this could be wavy details caused by motion blur. But motion blur does not explain the glowing white eyes that briefly flicker at 11 seconds into the video and quickly go away. I don't care how poor the camera quality is. Whatever this is, in my opinion, it should not be there, and yet it is. When exploring the deepest depths of a mine shaft, the last thing you want to run into is the paranormal. Proving Demons claim their crew did just that. Publishing this video recently in May of 2019, the YouTube team writes, During a routine exploration of an abandoned mine shaft and railway tunnel, we saw something unbelievable as we turned a corner into a tunnel. The mine itself is creepy enough. You can hear water running and dripping. It's muddy dark, and to put it simply, it's not a place you'd want to meet another being, passed away or alive. And about 17 minutes into the exploration video, it appears they do. A light can be seen in the dark distance. What the hell is that? Is this a mine? I don't know. You guys, what the heck? Why is there a light down here? We can't walk through that. Is there noise there? Why is there a light at the end of this mine shaft? Only the ghost holding its candle could answer that. The team doesn't stick around to find out, and who can blame them? The fact that a light was visible so deep in the mine gives me no other choice but to believe this is paranormal. If you've ever wondered who would win in a battle, a human or a ghost, you're about to have your answer. This clip was posted to Facebook in March of 2020. The footage shows a semi-transparent ghost throwing rocks and other items from under a bridge. As other men enter the scene and see what's transpiring, one of them takes it upon himself to run at the ghost man and confront him. After a struggle with the man, the ghost comes out ahead. Many more men join in before the ghost man escapes and assumingly glides off to his ghost den. What's happening here? What did this ghost possibly want? This story needs a follow-up. When a djinn comes to play, it's generally Gloves Off, published by Hassan Barbar in June of 2021. This scary video was filmed inside a not-so-abandoned building. The building alone is frightening, but when Hassan arrives at this room, it becomes more so. The djinn starts throwing things around, and when he enters, he gets pipes thrown at him.
Things are being flung at all angles, so Hassan retreats into an adjacent room for safety. But the jinn won't let him hide out forever. It shoves something in the empty hole where a doorknob should be, and soon it bursts the door open. Whoa. Hassan re-enters the haunted but now quiet room. As he continues around the building, the jinn gets angrier and angrier. <laughs> this continues and doesn't let up. Eventually, he's had enough and goes to leave, but as he does, it appears he's pushed down the stairs by an invisible force. A lot of racket is heard afterward. It looks like a door was thrown down the stairs at him. Was this the Jin's doing? It looks like he's not playing at all. I think everyone should be staying far away from this place. And I always look up to the sky and I always say hi dad. That's how a YouTuber named Jennifer Moen5 pays her respects to her dad who has since passed on. Then one day it looks like her father says hello back to her and her family. Oh boy. You can see a shimmering orb rise and fall to the ground as soon as she says hi to her father. I wanted to add that this is the only paranormal video on Jennifer's channel, which otherwise focuses on enjoying wholesome moments with family, so I really don't think this is video editing. I also wanted to ask that everyone please show the utmost respect when telling me if you believe this is real or fake, since it deals with the memory of a loved one. A Russian police officer is roaming the snowy countryside when he comes in close contact with a creature that has since never been identified. The officer is traveling at a low rate of speed when suddenly something huge dashes across his headlights. The strange figure is only visible for a moment, then it's gone. Many YouTubers suspect this to be a Russian Yeti. Others are sure that it's a man in a suit or even someone who is completely naked, though this theory is hard to believe because a person in Russia would probably freeze to death if they stood outside naked for very long. Look closely and you'll see that whatever it is, it's moving quite fast. It only takes the thing about five or six steps to fully get away, and I should mention that the snow banks on both sides of the tracks appear to be very deep. An average sized person would be struggling way more to get over them. Zoom in and you'll see what looks to be white fur hanging off of its body. Also it looks to be hunched over and its arms almost touch the ground. If this is a costume, it's very convincing. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Hunting the Haunted, this redditor wrote, The Haunted Frank Lloyd Wright House in Florida. This place has always been active. Check out the full video over on our YouTube channel. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. I just like an orb fly by toward you. What was that? What was that? I heard something. Yeah. That sounded like it was in the kitchen. That sounded like it was on top of the roof. Guys, is there something here with us? We are not alone. We can hear you walking. I heard something. 
Well, it certainly seems like the spirits that reside in this home are active. I guess it really makes no difference who the architect of a home is in the eyes of a spirit. My theory is the spirits here are trying to scare this paranormal team into never returning again. This video comes from a creepy YouTube channel ominously called I Know Where She Is. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Anyway, whoever's filming seems to be at some old abandoned house that's covered in years worth of trash. A loud generator blocks out all sound. They turn around as if startled and shine their flashlight on the doorway, but they don't see anything. Neither did I the first time. Look again though, and you'll see the fleeing shadow of someone retreating from the doorway. Overall, it's hard to tell if this was a phantom figure or just the angle of the flashlight playing tricks across the wall. When in Kentucky, Bobby Mackey's is a must on your pit stop through Wilder. As the Honky Tonk Place is often called the most haunted nightclub in America. And here's video to prove it. Posted by 303 Paranormal TV to the Chills Narrator subreddit. He writes, A few clips of some paranormal evidence caught on my channel. The footage was taken at Bobby Mackey's, which according to legend, has been the site of both life takings, takings of own lives, and of course hauntings. Folklore claims there's a gateway inside Bobby Mackey's and it's haunted by the ghosts of people who passed away on sight and nearby. One of the purported ghosts is that of Pearl Bryan, whose body was found around two miles away. According to some, those responsible put a curse on the site and said that they would haunt those who persecuted the case. Of course, all these claims are unsubstantiated. Pearl Bryan's life taking is sadly true. No public records have been found to confirm Bobby Mackey's had any part in it, nor has the location's historical background regarding any other supernatural claims been verified. Regardless, some have captured paranormal experiences on tape at the site, including this video of a shadow figure moving across the wall in the empty club. Is there some truth in urban legends? Is this video proof of at least some unearthly presence here? I think I'd be too scared to ever find out for myself. It's almost 3 a.m. and Sean Tharp's girlfriend is heading out to work a late night shift. Soon she is calling her boyfriend, screaming about a man walking towards her. She claims the stranger was wearing no coat in absolutely freezing cold weather and came straight at her without a word. Sure enough, at approximately 33 seconds into this doorbell cam video, I can see a semi-transparent figure stomping towards her car at a high rate of speed, then it turns around and abruptly disappears. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then watch this street lamp get covered briefly by the person's hollow outline as a reference point. We are going to an abandoned house today. It's near my house. No one's been in it for like four or five years. The place is haunted. A YouTuber named Chippy Watson is exploring an abandoned house at 3 a.m. to make a video they will forever remember as a paranormal investigation gone wrong. First, they find this little room that gives them the creeps and makes them shut the door because a ghost is near, or at least that's what it feels like to them. Oh, no. Shut that. I bet you didn't notice this, but at 2 minutes and 21 seconds, right when he opens the door, a ghost orb or some kind of strange light is caught on camera seemingly moving into the small room. That's creepy. It's completely shut. It's completely shut. Alright, let's get up in the attic because never did. They don't go exploring much of the attic because the floor is nothing but soft insulation that they don't want to fall through at any time, much less at 3 a.m. I don't see anything haunted or scary caught on camera here, but if you do, let me know. They find some more weird and possibly paranormal evidence in the basement in the form of footsteps in the dust. Someone has been walking around in circles over and over again and kicking holes in this room. What? Oh, that was the footsteps. Look at the holes in the wall. 
Maybe poltergeist activity. Maybe kids partying in an abandoned house. The group goes exploring upstairs some more and finds the door open. A ghost opened the door, they think. I say it could be a loose doorknob, of which there are plenty to be found in abandoned houses. But then again, they did get scared in this part before and felt like a ghost was near, so it could be paranormal. And that's when the scariest 3 a.m. moment of all happens. His friend tells him to come closer to catch the scary ghost noises on camera. Uh. Did you just knock? Soft knocking noises are coming from the other side of the door. It's not them either. The stick he's holding doesn't touch the wall. Watch. Uh. 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 And when two more knocks happen while well, he's standing even farther away, so it's not him. Did you just knock? Who knows what they would have seen if they looked inside the room for a final time. This man thought he'd get away with it, but he was sorely mistaken. Published by Rio Link in July of 2019, the suspect is seen crossing a quiet road at night in June of 2019 at around 3 in the morning. As the vehicle approaches, he hurries across the road and hides under the front end of a parked truck in a driveway. After the vehicle passes, the dude rolls from under the truck and puts his hood on. He then tries to enter the truck because the door is unlocked. But before he can snatch any valuables, the car alarm goes off, undoubtedly waking up the whole neighborhood. and the would-be burglar flees across the street. I think we can all agree this attempt failed miserably. A YouTuber named Jamie Sinclair is hanging out with her friend and her dog when she records some weird things. What the She looks up to see a swing set is moving on its own. As she gets closer, we can notice some things that make this unexplained video even more mysterious. Okay, so the obvious answer is that it's the wind, right? Wrong. Look at this rope next to it. Stationary. Are you meaning to tell me that the wind is strong enough to push this swing but not move this rope? I don't think so. Footprints are all around the swing, so I'm not acting like her friend couldn't have pushed it and then acted surprised. But the point is, there's no way to tell for sure, and even the smallest chance of paranormal activity is still creepy to think about. I want to know what you think about this interesting paranormal video posted by Darkaloos. First, two pieces of his overhead vent fall off, but when it happens, the camera freezes. So is this an electronic interference from spirits, or is it poor editing? Next, this chair turns all by itself. It's by a window and behind a table, and therefore far out of reach. Perhaps eeriest of all are these two legs with no upper reflection. You would logically assume this is Darkaloo's recording, but if it was, as one commenter points out, then where is the rest of him? A YouTube channel called Barb's Buzzin takes a chance buying a fish off the dark web. Whoever sent this blacked out the bag so we can't see what's inside. Anything could be in there, maybe even something dangerous, or maybe it's just sensitive to light? At first, it looks like nothing is there, but then they almost pour the slimy mystery pet onto the floor by accident. Get it done quick. There's no fish in here. There's no fish. There's nothing in this. What the f They aren't sure if it's even alive until they see a tiny circular object moving in the center. They think this could be a shark egg, but I just want to be sure, so take a look and let me know what you think this bizarre gift could be. Absolutely insane. Look at his head right there. He's, le he's legit the swimming part. around. I definitely see a striped tail at the very end, so maybe it is a shark and not something super nefarious after all. 
Beyond this fence lays an abandoned asylum that a YouTuber named TGF Bro and his friends badly want to explore. The inside looks like a tattered mansion on the verge of collapse. Strange noises follow them as they progress deeper into the interior of the asylum. When they get deep enough, TGF Bro pulls out a Ouija board and begins directing questions to whoever or whatever is near. If there's anybody there, please move the trial to yes. The group hears a loud bang directly behind them, and they all take off. I noticed that the third person was off camera though, so maybe that person made the commotion and then acted scared. Then again, old asylums are supposed to be notoriously haunted, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Ouija board really did bring spirits near. This Dog Knows What's Up, published by Ghost Hunting Unique 0.4 in April of 2022. This dog is seen staring down the road. He then runs away without explanation. That's when this figure appears suddenly in the middle of the road. The figure later vanishes. But then this weirdo pops up, scaring a passerby. It's unclear what he wants, but he too vanishes after a moment. Later, another figure disappears as he's crossing the street. Is this just a road of no return? The Bermuda Triangle of Pavement? Or is something else going on here? This individual sees strange sightings in the sky. Creepy stuff hidden in front of our eyes, as she puts it. It would be easy to dismiss her notions as outlandish. Except for one thing, she can back up her claims. You see, Sheila has caught weird things on camera. She zooms into the trees to find a creepy pale face with round black eyes staring back at her from the treetops. This could be a balloon or something else stuck in the tree, but it's far from the only bizarre thing she's caught on camera near her house. A short time later, she finds this odd light not too far from where she saw the face. Two other lights are spotted in the sky in an odd formation that soon blinks away. Together, they do seem to, once connected, possibly form the outer perimeter of a much larger, disc-like object. What are these strange, silent objects that glow and grow? The unexplained lights do not look like a helicopter and have no trail of a spotlight, so what could they be? This place just might be haunted by something nefarious. Published by Humboldt Pet Supply in October of 2018, the store's security camera footage reveals a series of creepy incidents that cannot be explained. The first involves a package falling off a shelf on its own. The shop attendant continues to shelve items and then heads over to put the package back. A moment later, after she walks away, the package falls from the shelf again. This time, it also moves across the floor a bit on its own. Another clip shows a cat named Diego pacing the shop. An incongruent shadow cat appears in the light from the doorway. There don't appear to be any other cats in the store but the real and the shadow one. In a third clip, another package falls from its place and moves strangely across the floor. It drifts slowly until it catches Diego, the cat's attention. As the cat approaches attentively, the package moves, causing Diego to jump. The cat paws it for a second before he decides he wants nothing to do with this. The package continues across the floor on its own. Is this perhaps the shadow cat playing around with the real one? Seems pretty catty to me. Working car parks aren't the most comfortable places in the light of day. So what happens when you enter an abandoned one in the darkness underground? Published to YouTube by Nellis in August of 2016, this video will make underground car parks seem even more terrifying. 
Nellis writes, This is the scariest haunted abandoned place we've ever visited. The car park was in connection to a haunted hotel his crew had visited in Bosnia. He says that this video is even scarier than his two-part series about the hotel. So let's see what's hiding down in this car park. The car park has clearly long been abandoned, overgrown grass at the entrance and rubble inside as they descend into the pits of creepy. On one wall is a handprint, as though someone smeared something on the wall. It looks like something red. Nellis shines a flashlight into the dark and spots a bag. The crew hears something down in the car park, prompting Nellis to greet the darkness, asking if there's anyone down there to give them a sign. If there's anyone in here, give us a sign. A sound is heard, although it's not clear what it could be coming from. He continues to shine his flashlight all along the gap to the car park to see if anything is moving. They hear some more noises, repeated taps, His friend speaks in Bosnian, likely again questioning whether or not anyone is there. On closer inspection of the underground, they spot a door and recently eaten food. They continue down to the bottom of the incline and throw stuff at the bag they'd seen earlier. While looking deeper into the car park, they don't open the bag, but Nellis says it appeared like someone was sleeping down here, or otherwise staying here, as though they found food canisters and towels. As they again hear something in the darkness, they decide it's time to move it on out of there. Nellis says it sounds like something scraping the floor. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I heard something, I heard something. I heard something. <laughs> Whether human, animal, or something supernatural, leaving this place with only one way out was probably the best course of action. In the Dominican Republic in April 2013, uploader DR Local encountered a mysterious sea creature. During a scooter-powered night scuba dive, the time was 9.15 p.m., while the depth was 20 meters. The creature was reportedly bony, three quarters of a foot long, with a small head and sharp teeth. It also had translucent fins and a purple and steel sheen colored body. The mysterious creature swam both backwards and forwards. The dorsal fin helped it maneuver both directions and propelled it at higher speeds moving forwards which made it appear more eel-like rather than blade-shaped. According to the uploader, what could this eel-like creature be? YouTube commenters, of course, are full of suggestions. Doom Octopus said it looked like a young oar fish, while Zane Reavers said it was a cutlass fish. Both of these seem plausible, but Sam Paul's suggestion seems to be on the nose. It's a hair tail, very common around Sydney, Australia, usually fished at night by a very dedicated fisherman, very sharp teeth, and not too bad to eat. Whatever the thing is, I wouldn't want to run into it in the depths of the sea at night. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.